Hi there, folks. I'm Leela, and I'm the Concrete Boys and Girls Club Elementary Site Coordinator in Skagit County, Washington. Welcome back to Action Art. If you followed our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, you know we're on lesson three of gesture sketches. We've been working on gesture sketches, which is a great pic or which is great practice for capturing the movement and working on basic proportioning on human bodies. Uh, in our previous videos, we have created these tools in our handy dandy toolbox that we have, CSI lines, which is C S I, and those are the shapes of lines that we are drawing while we're practicing gesture sketches. The line of movement, which is the line one continuous line, or sometimes two, depending on the pose. One line between from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet that shows the movement of the pose. The third thing that we have learned is proportioning, and we did that last time. And proportions are the relationship of things between size. So my hand is proportion, the proportion between my hand and this water bottle. Gryffindor, Harry Potter. Today, we're gonna add one more tool in our handy dandy tool box, and that is, drum roll please, static versus dynamic lines. But before we get into that, let's remember the most important thing that you can do while practicing any sort of art in your life. Does anybody remember? It's practice. You're absolutely correct. Practicing is the most important thing that you can do to improve yourself. You can't expect to get better just overnight. You can't get, expect to get better by uh, just hoping you're going to get better. You actually have to put in the work and the effort in order to do it. So and what does that mean? That's right. You have to practice. So remember to compliment your skill or yourself on those small progresses that you notice in your own art and other people's arts. Because one of the things that we need to be practicing in everyday life is to be kind to ourselves and to others. So today, back to our lesson, back to our toolbox. Today we're going to focus on static and versus dynamic lines. So as we're doing this, let's think of a circle. One circle. This is a static line. It is continuous. It is full. There are no breaks in the line, okay? Dynamic lines are small lines, kind of like scribbles, but with more intention same shape but it shows a little bit of movement in those lines rather than just focusing on that one continuous line so this is a dynamic line and those are the lines that we're going to be making working on our gesture sketches today top of head bottom of foot and notice for this pose today i'm actually going to draw three lines because it's an eye pose straight lines Let's start with top of head, and here's her body. Let's work on some proportioning also. Top of head, all the way down her feet. Just like that. There we go. Yes, it looks like a stick figure, but that's okay. Head. And remember, we're going to do dynamic lines as we're working on the shapes, all right? C line, C line, C line. Where does it connect? Oh, no. All right. Pose number one. I had to reset myself because I didn't make her torso long enough. All right, so pose number one, worked on those dynamic lines, still followed the CSI shapes. You see how she's standing with her hips turned out and she's holding that strong warrior st stance. Dynamic lines rather than this weird little stick figure in the middle. That is a what? A static line. You're correct. All right, let's get to pose number two. 
All right, top of head, bottom of feet. Let's start with his head, see if I can get the portion. Right. Pose number two. We did that quickly. We believed in ourselves and you know what? It's still somewhat proportional. It's, it's not perfect by any means, but it's getting there. Thank you for doing action art with me today. Remember to like and to subscribe to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.